Uh, hi everybody, Tim Hatch again. Uh, this poem is called Loathing Las Vegas. On the casino floor, the damned sit, collapsed on gaudy vinyl stools, their skin a sickly fish belly white, their faces shine the color of midnight seawater in the game light, almost translucent at the temples, stained glass windows revealing their tweaker lust for the ritual of the swiped card and the mindless mashing of the button, staring at their god, blinded by his radiance, staring into oblivion as it plows through their retirement and their children's inheritance. Their mutated lizard brains look back into the mist, vaguely calling forward a half-memory of a TV commercial for reverse mortgages and swipe their cards, one last sacrifice, one last shot. The casino coffee shop is nearly empty at the dinner hour. Three booths down, sitting across the table from an old man who's visibly angry with the Kino display, sits a Gorgon. A black leather poor boy hat sits on top of her peroxide kinky curls, her red clay lips pulled tightly across her mouth, her skull intent on bursting through her face, her skin the blue white of non-fat milk, her right hand teases the rim of enormous dark shades, her tourmaline eyes faintly glowing behind them. The Kino girl glides past, a shark, never resting, always hunting, her empty button eyes indifferently scanning the room. Out by the pool, the chlorine fumes hate-fuck their way into the nostrils of the defeated parents, who wonder what the hell they were thinking, desperately wishing they had a tab of acid, or a bag of shrooms, or anything that might help them appreciate this Boschian hellscape. It's after dark now. The sexy people are long gone, off to have sexy evenings and sexy clubs, with names like misdemeanor and cyst. An enormous toddler sits at the end of a chaise lounge, sucking the ketchup out of ketchup packets, his parents oblivious as they argue over where to take the screaming children for dinner. Nowhere is far enough away from here.